Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully refresh our total admin template, right? And also, I have actually noticed something. I want to update that our path. Like if you go to our exercise folder, and that is in our backend theme. So into the backend theme, I have already taken that assets folder, and also that is a main into the main area. That is some of the pages folder. Here actually, that is all that is static HTML page. Okay, here here we don't actually need this file. Um, that means that is actually also the another one as a footer neighbor sidebar you can see that is actually not needed only we will need our asset okay that means that is the asset folder here actually before i have already take it i want to update this part like that if you go to that public into the public you can see i have already take that our asset into the our public folder and in our backend folder i have actually added the pages and then partials so here actually that is all that html file right that is our bootstrap admin panel html file so that will be actually not needed okay for the reasons i want to do from to the back end folder i want to remove both of this okay i want to remove both of this folder great and now i want to do to cart our assets folder i want to simply cart it and now in our back end folder area here i want to do i want to paste it okay then i just simply paste it perfect so now that will be perfect now here on a, we have to update our path that i have already updated i hope you get that point before i have actually take that asset outside of this our back in folder in and now i want to do and to take all that our asset folder and i take it in our back in folder that i have created and now here i update right that means here i have paste this our asset folder and that is all that our css now we also have to update it in our admin that means if you go to our project into the project if you go to that our resources and then the view and then that is our admin right i have already add all that our um, css jss in our admin dashboard if you now go to that admin dashboard here you can see i have actually take it as an asset and then that is our asset vendor so right now after that asset as i told you asset will be started from to the public folder and then after that we have to take that our back in folder and then that is our asset right so for the reasons here we need to do here we have to simply add our folder name as a backend backend great so that's all you have to do that means that is our public folder and after the public that is our backend folder so that is a public and then there is our backend folder and then that is our asset and by default it should be automatically get that our asset vendor core okay you can see that is everything will be just like that same now on, only want to update this backend here I want to paste it, I want to paste it, and also I want to paste it, and also here I want to paste it, and then paste it. Great. So I hope you get that point. Now that will be actually appropriate back in related theme. I have actually added in our back in folder. So here I simply take it. Now also I want to update uh, for our JS. So that is all that our JS file. Here also I want to paste it. Okay. Right now I want to paste paste and paste it and then paste it and then paste it great so now that should be also work now let's check this out click as a save all and now if you go i want to refresh it that should be work perfectly yeah you can see everything is work perfectly and also you can check it by running right now our php addition service running i also want to do i want to go to our project that means that is our project into the project area here i also want to open another cmd and i want to run with the php addition optimize okay now if you click as enter so if there have any made changes it should be clear your all that cache okay now let's check this out you can see there is a caching framework booster file now configure and it's now successfully configure our route okay so now let's check this out if you now click as a save that means refresh yeah everything is worked perfectly great our css worked perfectly js file is also worked perfectly and also i have created another page uh, if you go again in our admin i have also created another page as admin login right here into the admin login also we have to now update the same things now better i want to do and to copy that is in our backend so into the backend that is our asset okay here i want to paste it also here i want to paste it that will be the locking i paste it and then i paste it and also here i want to paste it right so now that will be the same process i simply updated also that things in our um, admin locking page 
great and also from here they have some of the js file i want to update that will be as an asset that means after that public folder then that will be as a backend folder great now if you click as a save all also now to check it if you now click as a logout going to log out and here you can see our login is also successfully working if you also want to check it again by running the php addition optimize so it will be remove your all that cache now i want to refresh it hmm perfect you can see our um, this theme is also successfully working and from here if you're logging with the admin and then password now logged in yeah we are successfully logged in so here actually I, I have noticed this part so for the reasons here i simply shared that things with you simply change that directory here in our public folder in our backend folder i have actually added all that our asset which things i have taken from to the backend team okay great great so friend that's all so now let's uh, update our first of all i want to update which user is logging this user all that profile data i want to update so how to do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video